first off, I just want to say how proud of you I am for making it this far. We've got one more step to go. It's the trapezoid mid-segment theorem. And it's super simple and you're gonna love Siegel and I for it, all right? The first thing I wanna do though, you see this picture up top? I wanna just label a couple of things. All right, we're gonna call this base one. And remember from the previous problems, we've been labeling our bases, right? This is a base here. This is a base here. We're gonna call this base two. And this new line that we have, that we're labeling green, we're gonna go ahead and call that the mid-segment, all right? Because that's actually what it is, okay? And it's gonna be important for you to recognize that because I'm gonna give you the theorem right now. The mid-segment theorem looks like this. It's base one plus base two divided by two equals the mid-segment. And that's it, super simple. It's like finding the midpoint almost, right? So, let's take a look at a couple problems and see how we do it. It says ABCD is a trapezoid. If AB is 10 and DC is 20, find FE. All right, so let's look at it. Let's label everything we know. AB is 10 and DC is 20. And we're looking for FE, that's our X. So let's write our formula. I'm just gonna write B1 plus B2, like base one plus base two, over two. And for mid-segment, I'm gonna write MS, all right? Just to abbreviate so it's not as much writing. So if you look at our picture from before, we know that this one is our base one, and this is our base two. So let's just plug in the values. B1 is 10, B2 is 20, divided by two is gonna give us that mix segment, which is FE. And then we'll, you can plug this right into your calculator. And when you do, I'll show you the individual steps, but when you do, you're gonna get 15. So simple, FE is 15. Well, that was easy, Mr. Elizondo. Let's look at a, maybe a harder one. Number two says, oh, it's trapezoid ABCD again. It says if BE, or AB, excuse me, is four, and FE is 12, we have to find DC. Well, let's label our bases again. So this is our base one, I'm gonna label that B1. This is DC, I'm gonna label that B2. And then FE, that's our mid-segment, right? So I'll go ahead and write MS here. Let's see what they gave us. They told us AB is four, awesome. And they told us, this time they told us the mid-segment is 12. And they want us to find DC, so I'm gonna call that X. Well, let's write our formula like we have then. That's B1 plus B2 over two equals MS. B1, we label as four. B2, we don't know, we're gonna call it X. All over two, and our mid-segment they gave us, which is 12. And hey, this should look very familiar. We've got a nasty fraction. How do we get rid of it? We multiply both sides by the denominator. So here we multiply by two, and here we multiply by two. The twos go away, we're left with four plus X equals 24. And now it's super simple. Subtract by four, subtract by four, and you get x equals 20. And what were we looking for? It was b2. So b2, or dc, which they told us before, is equal to 20. All right, I know you're probably bored, super simple. Let's give you the challenge. If you can do this problem, I'm perfectly confident that you're gonna get any of the problems that we give you. So here, let me erase a little bit of that so you can see FE is 25. All right, so same thing. Let's label the parts, right? So this is our B1. This down here is our B2. And just so you know, it doesn't matter which one you label B1 or B2 as long as you're consistent, right? Because that way you don't get confused. And then FE, in the middle is our mid-segment. 
Oh, what did they tell us? Let's see. They told us that AB is x plus 2. They told us that DC is 2x plus 3. And they told us that FE is 25. Well, they told us everything. So let's set up our equation and solve for x. I'm ready to blue this time. So we do b1 plus b2 over 2 equals mx. b1 is x plus 2. b2, 2x plus 3. And ms is 25. Well, don't forget to divide by 2. All right, so we got to combine our terms up top. So we have an x and 2x, so that's 3x. A 2 and a 3, that's 5. But we still have that nasty 2 on the bottom. Well, what do we do? You guessed it. We multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of that fraction. These 2's go away. You get 3x plus 5 equals 50. Subtract by 5 on both sides. 3x equals 45. Divide by 3 and x equals 15. And there you have done it. Once you complete your regions practice problems, you have completed unit 4 all about parallelograms. Siegel's proud of you. I think you're amazing. Show us what you know.